how to counter the dredge explainer in two minutes ready to go the dredge can teleport to lockers and then step out of them and if they stay in a locker for more than eight seconds they're gonna release a warning sound and whenever they go into the animation of stepping out of the locker they also shake the locker so you'll know which locker they're stepping out of no matter what stay out of lockers close to objectives like gens or active hooks and if you need to go in a locker to hide from bbq or something make sure to go to a random locker in the middle of nowhere and stay in open areas away from lockers if you want to stay away from the killer survivors can lock the lockers so that when the dredge teleports to them it takes them longer to get out of it but you can only lock a locker once so don't go running around locking every locker you see make sure you lock a locker with purpose for example locking a locker close to a gen that's about to complete or near a survivor you're about to unhook if you see a teleporting pattern with the dredge where they're always going back to the same locker counter this locker when it matters most and if you don't mind looping save yourself the time and don't even bother locking the lockers and just take the chase if you know a locker is out of play for example next to a completed gen and you know that no one survivors or the dredge is going to go back to it lock it for the off chance that the dredge actually does teleport back to it late game and you'll also be getting free blood points for locking it the dredge can teleport back to his spirit husk mid chase so stay away from short loops go to longer loops like the killer shack so that it'll be harder for the dredge to teleport back to the remnant and get good value out of it bait this remnant similar to artists crows go close enough to the remnant so that the dredge teleports back and then quickly go back on your own steps and if you can once the dredge places his remnant down just go to another loop so that he'll get no value out of his remnant and keep going back and forth between these two loops whenever he places his remnant down to make it so that the dredge doesn't get his nightfall as often stay healed because he'll then get the charges for nightfall slower inside the nightfall if you can walk through the remnant to destroy it which will greatly reduce the duration of nightfall